one of life's challenges is that its greatest gifts are often disguised. They rattle the current moment, shake up our perceptions, redirect the path we were so confidently marching down. By the way, they never tell us, hey, this is for your own good, right? You'll come out stronger. You'll be better prepared to take life head on. If we didn't provide you with this shakeup, you'd ultimately live your life as a fraction of what you're capable of. No, that message is omitted in the moment. We're left to think that our world is ending. And I've always believed that the most challenging part of our down times, right? When we go through that suffering, the struggle, when we go through hell, it's not the situation itself. It's our thinking that this is forever. Our inability to see past the darkness and remember that all of this is temporary. It's a process. A series of ups and downs, peaks and valleys. And guess what? Without the valleys, there are no peaks. There are no mountaintops. Sometimes that's hard to grasp. And how can pain and suffering be the seeds to our joy? How can exposure to uncertainty become the confidence that things will work out? How can loss manifest into the acquisition of the best things that life has to offer? How? Well, because the very experiences we're inclined to avoid are the ones that define us. Like a sculptor creating an image from stone, carving away as we progress through life, I've learned that it's a price worth paying. I'm willing to spend hours, months, even years working alone on something I believe in. I'm willing to be vulnerable, have people I don't know, and even some I do criticize my vision. I'm willing to give up the comfort of security of the present moment. Even heartbreak, relationships, there are risks that we take. And when they don't work out or they fall apart, it's a discomfort that ultimately makes you stronger and better equipped for the next one. All of these things hurt, but they bring the upside that isn't a reality when you avoid pain. See, I get that emotionally you're beaten down. I understand you feel lost. I get how hard things can be, but they're not reasons to give up hope. The reminders of how good things can be when you reach down deep and look beyond the present moment. Maybe you can't see it now, but this will lift you up. Our thoughts about the situation during these times, they are always worse than the situation itself, right? Find solace in that. In the fact that there's always a solution, that nothing is forever, that you will come out of this thing better than before you walked into it. Life is a game of mental chess, maneuvering around the forevers, the can'ts, the failures. They don't mean anything until you decide to grant them power over you. What if I went as far as to say the greatest gift you've ever been given is that you're standing, breathing, taking in this very moment with infinite possibility ahead of you. And whether you choose to see it or not, it's there. It's waiting. Why not lift your head up even slightly and take in what lies beyond the immediate? It'll never cease to amaze me how nothing has done more in my life in pushing me forward than the very things I once called setbacks. What you've lost, it will propel you. What's gone is reacquirable. What you seek is waiting. What feels hopeless has solutions. What seems too big to conquer can be broken down into pieces. We have choices here. Do we focus on what we don't have and the missteps or bask in the endless opportunity waiting outside the front door? Both exist. Both grapple for our attention. It's up to you to adjust your sails, to dance with hope when you might have been overcome with despair. My friends, life is good, and all that it requires is you to agree to accept it. 
to not run from what hurts or live a life that's risk averse, but to step out, experience it fully, and know that you can and will adjust to whatever comes your way, because every day you are stronger, smarter, and better equipped to rise beyond yesterday's fictitious limits. If air is making its way into your lungs, if your heart is pumping blood through your veins, if your eyes are taking in the beauty around you, you have every reason to hope. Because what waits ahead is far greater than anything you've left behind.